How's it going guys? This is our second video today, number two. So this one just inquired on me a little bit ago, okay? So I'm driving, it's raining, so watch over me, okay? But we have a, a neighbor complaint about our dumpster, where we put it and where it is located. So I'm gonna call the, the, the neighbor. She don't know that I'm the guy that actually dropped off the, uh, the dumpster, okay guys? She don't have a clue. But I dropped the dumpster off on the side of a road that is a residential neighborhood. And there's cars parked on the side of the road, so why couldn't you put a dumpster there? I personally don't know the guidelines to putting dumpsters on roads, but the homeowner's driveway was a circle driveway that was too small for my truck and trailer, and it was on a slope, and it was already breaking to pieces. So as soon as I put my dumpster on there and nothing broke or something, I'd be liable for that driveway and I'd kind of be screwed in some way, in some fashion. I don't know. But it's on the, the street. It's level. It's easy to load. It's not on a slope. So loading and walking in the dumpster is going to be legit now. You won't break your leg or slide. You shouldn't be in the dumpster in the first place. But people don't understand that. But the dumpster, in my eyes, is in a good spot. The neighbor next door, not so much. Still waiting for the homeowner to call me back because the contractor told me to put it there. But we'll see. But let me give the uh, irate neighbor a call. It's my dumpster phone. So, let's just listen to voicemail first, guys, okay? Somebody please give me a call concerning this. I need to hear back from you all or else I'm going to call the city and come and file a complaint. Uh, give me a call back. This number is 865. Alright guys. So here, here's the deal. Okay. I'm going to call the, the lady back. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear on speakerphone because I can barely hear the, the voicemail on speakerphone. But we're going to try this. good all the time with voicemail sounds. Yes ma'am, this is Brandon with Drop and Go Dumpsters in East Tennessee. Um, I missed a phone call from uh, from you uh, about one of our drivers putting a dumpster in a... Uh... Hello? Oh, yeah, yes ma'am, this is Brandon with Drop and Go Dumpsters and uh, I missed a call uh, from your number earlier today. I, I got a voicemail about, uh, about one of our drivers putting a dumpster in a road. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I'm sorry about any inconvenience. If you need anything, just you just give us a call back, and uh, I'll, I'll tell him to try to place it a little bit better. I didn't really get to see the driveway, but you never know about driveways these days. Driveways. Yeah. 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 Okay. All righty. All 
Alrighty, ma'am. Well, thank you. All right, see you. Bye. Well, guys, that turned out really good really fast. It was a voicemail, and I was leaving the lady a voicemail, and she answered the phone. And I was like, oh, gosh, what do I do now? But she called the city. She was going to file a complaint with the city, but there's cars parked on the street. So cars, dumpsters, they're the same size almost, maybe a little bit longer. My dumpster's not very longer than my truck. And um, it was across the street from her driveway. So I was actually the driver that dropped it off and uh, and the uh, car just pulled out in front of me. But I was the driver that dropped it off. And it was kind of across the street from the driveway, but you could still, everything was still fine. But she said something, so I backed up some more. That way it wasn't nowhere close to her driveway. That way we could go by that way and not have to worry about any of that stuff. So she called the city. The city said it was okay to put the dumpster on the street. So now I know it's okay to put a dumpster on the street. I really never dug into that to find out. But now I do know, okay? Now you guys know, drop and go dumpsters can put a dumpster on the street as long as it's not blocking a mailbox or in front of a neighbor's driveway, you know? So we're good to go. She's a happy residence now. That means our reviews are still gonna be five star. Oh yeah. And no complaints. So we wanna keep a good star. Even though it's really hard sometimes to keep that good star, you know? There's just always a person that's a butt. Guys, I'll be honest, when, I, when I'm mad, I'm not the best person to deal with either. I'm a butt. Most of the people that know me are like, well, you need to go eat or something. So, I don't know. But, guys, that is it for today. It is raining. We dropped our dumpster off. We picked up our trash. It's in the back of my truck getting soaked right now. I still got to run to uh, Home Depot and get some locks and rekey the tumblers to my key code uh, for eviction in Sparta, Tennessee tomorrow. It's going to be about a two-hour drive with four of us. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm going to have... Dumb, dumber, and miss, miss with me. That's all I'm gonna say. She'll, she'll choke you up in the back of the truck. But till next, next time, guys. Remember dropping out dumpsters. If you guys, got any comments or anything about dumping a dumpster off on the side of the street for a homeowner? If they got a crappy driveway and you can't get in there, or you see a dumpster on the side of the street, just let me know. We'll figure out something. Next time, guys, Drop and Go Dumpsters is out. See you guys later.